it's great to welcome you to the uh, second uh, Technology for Good Awards. This is an event that is all about celebrating technology and celebrating what people do with technology. And actually we read a lot about the bad side of technology, about internet safety and the terrible things that people do. And actually, today is about really thinking about the really positive benefits of technology. A huge thank you um, to BT for the part that you have played in helping us build on these awards. You are an enthusiastic and generous partner. We have been around for more than 25 years and we've seen some amazing changes. But perhaps more important than the technology, we've seen significant positive shifts in attitude to disability. This is not an event about one particular way that technology can help people do good, but a celebration of the many ways it supports and empowers people from all walks of life. Perhaps even more so than last year, we have an incredibly diverse range of organisations on the shortlist with over 200 entries. It was difficult enough to whittle it down to 26 finalists, but when you see the quality of those shortlisted entries, I'm sure you'll understand just how hard it was for the judges to reach their decisions and choose just eight winners. And the winner of the Digital Fundraising Award is Child's Eye Foundation. The winner is Broken It. Preston City Council and Citizen Zone. It took a long time to get to the stage for young chaps, didn't they? The winner is Alison Creera. Delighted to accept this award as recognition for all the truly great things that disabled people can achieve when technology has given them the chance to shine. And I hope that the Technology for Good Awards will inspire people to think about the needs of everyone around them and make sure they can all benefit from the power of computers and the internet to change their lives for the better. Uh, we now come to the last award, which will be decided by you. So we've already heard a little bit about each of the winners during part one, but as the Technology for Good Awards are very much about learning from what others are doing, we're now going to take the opportunity to find out more about the winners. People like to hear from people that live next door to them, learn who lives next door to them, learn about who makes up our city, and that's really who makes up Radio Free Brighton, and we just love it to bits. Please listen. <laughs> we realised the very people that wanted to access our, or we wanted to access our services couldn't use computers, so we turned it on its head and created a mobile training vehicle. But many disabled people on low incomes uh, perhaps don't know much at all about computing, to, to know that there's someone who they can talk about the immediate problem and who will then give them advice on the kind of things they need. We've got thousands and thousands of uh, generally dyslexic but some other issues as well, um, students in university um, and adults in the workplace as well who are basically using it to, to help them be on a, a level playing field with everyone else. I managed to go out again because I didn't wish to go out again and I've taken up some of my old activities which I don't think I would have done had I not been encouraged to go out. What we wanted to do was to give people the opportunity to simply be able to access ICT in order to do the things the rest of us take for granted. We're very keen to shift the power balance in humanitarian response um, away from a one-way one communication to a two-way um, communication and really giving communities a voice. Child's Eye is a charity based in Uganda. It's a UK charity, but it's, um, it's based in Uganda. In Uganda, thousands of children are abandoned or orphaned every year. And we're using technology as a way of gathering a community together in, in order to, to get our message out. As a result, we have a huge network of really talented people who give their time, money and love. What it does is it's going to pick up how quickly you're waving your glow stick. The more you like it, the more vigorously you vote for it. I don't think it's okay anymore to, to say somebody with dyslexia 
um, shouldn't go and achieve their dreams. Vote for Child's Eye Foundation rather than me, uh, just because it's such a phenomenal organisation that saved the lives of so many children in such a short space of time. And ready, steady, go. Are you going to do it? 